edition on KYMA News 11, where news comes first. Well, good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Mejia. Jenny Day has the evening off. Good to have you with us as always on this Monday. We begin with two local businesses who were recently targeted by an unemployment scam. Both owners saying tonight the crooks stole their identity to apply for unemployment from the Arizona Department of Economic Security. And as News 11's Crystal Jimenez reports, DES says it is well aware of that fraudulent claim. Two local business owners told me they received this form in the mail. It has their social security number, but their name, address, or even their place of business is incorrect, and it raised some red flags. We received an unemployment insurance claim here at our office for myself, um, stating that I had applied for unemployment insurance um, relief, and I haven't. Crystal Hemphill runs Border Precast Inc. in Yuma. Her business remained open through the pandemic. So when she received notification of an unemployment claim on herself, many red flags were drawn. Here's the name, the middle initials incorrect, and then it states that filed for unemployment insurance on 129 of 2021. The notice, an official document from the Arizona Department of Economic Security. While Hemphill's name was incorrect, she was alarmed to find her social security number on the notice. This was something owner of Bare Naked Soap Company fell victim to as well. I've had to freeze my credit. They could open up a credit card or anything in, in my name. For so. Fritcher, the claim was made under a former business she owned, which closed down eight years ago. The Arizona Department of Economic Security saying on the matter it saw a sharp increase in the number of initial unemployment insurance claims filed. Its website showing the increase beginning January 23rd. But since then, the most recent report showed a significant decrease. DES saying it's because of a recent implementation of identity verification for those filing. And those notices going out to employers will significantly decrease soon, giving peace of mind to victims across Arizona. The Arizona Department of Security apologizes to the business community for the disruption and urges everyone to continue taking safety measures to protect your personal information. Reporting in Yuma, Chris Jimenez, News 11. Crystal, thanks. Continuing our crime news tonight, Border Patrol agents in Salton City stopping a toy hauler packed with 24 undocumented immigrants passing through the Highway 86 checkpoint.